Good evening, I'm Skyler Henry. Several civil rights groups are upset. Macon Bibb County recently moved the Memorial Gym polling location to a Bibb County Sheriff's Office location. 41 NBC's Alexa Rodriguez has more on the letter the organizations sent to the Board of Elections asking for change. It's a story you'll see only on 41. Macon Bibb voters who typically use the Godfrey 2 or Memorial Gym polling location will have to go to the Bibb County Sheriff's District 2 office to cast their ballots in the May and November elections. We think that putting a precinct with uh, a police operation or will deter voters from participating. Three civil rights groups sent a letter to Macon Bibb's Board of Elections expressing their concerns. Police precincts are barriers anywhere they are. Uh, if you're going to have a precinct uh, for voting, it should be a neutral place that people feel warm and welcoming to. The letter says law enforcement has unfortunately played a central role in the suppression of the African-American vote through the course of our nation's history. The Lawyers Committee for Civil Rights Under Law says the neighborhood is working on a petition to send to the BOE. Under state law, there's a petition um, opportunity for 20% of the affected voters in that precinct to file a petition with the Board of Election and ask them to reconsider uh, their position. The groups want the precinct to be moved to what they call a neutral location. The solution is putting it in a neutral place uh, that would be accessible for voters. And there are several options uh, we presented, but there are other options that would be available as well. Macedonia Church or Elam Alexander Academy are the two options the organizations gave. Macon Bibb's Board of Elections Supervisor Janetta Watson says the precinct was moved because Memorial Gym will be under construction longer than expected. She added, as of now, BOE has no intention of moving the Sheriff's Office precinct. She referred all other questions to the county attorney. In Macon, Alexa Rodriguez, 41 NBC News. The Civil Rights Group plans to hold a news conference Wednesday at 1 p.m. in front of the Board of Elections.